Finally, it's done. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you're probably getting sick of all these wiring pictures and videos I'm posting. But finally, I got the whole enclosure pretty much buttoned up, completed. Um, I got some few mi- few last minute things to fix. Um, I got to finish up wiring the solid state relays. Those are no biggie because I got them on the... Uh, the router over there, I got the same things down there for spindle and uh, the vacuum. And then I just need to finish up these limit switches. You can see when I click them. I got one side done. It's for it. This is for the uh, the Z and the Y um, travel limits, but I only got one wired up. I'm going to wait till I get these on the actual machine to, to finish them up. I already showed you guys these were working before. Now they're they're still going now. So those are all wired in. So these got I got nice aircraft connectors for everything. It's super nice. Um, I think last time I showed you guys I got this. I got these guys installed. Plugs. These this is actually for the. Um, auxiliary or any additional hardware you want to plug in as well as for this guy I can't wait to use this this is solenoid valve for of course air coming in and then if you've got an air spindle or air tool you want to use um, that's gonna be awesome to be able to turn it on and off while machining but basically here's everything got the smooth stepper board I got the C25 breakout board um, one thing I totally forgot about, you know, when I was installing everything was I forgot to read the manual again because, you know, learn from me, you got port one and port two. You got, this is like a, a double breakout board. Normally you just have a port, one port. Uh, port one has mainly got outputs and then port two has inputs. Maybe, is that right? I don't know. It's one, one or the other. They're both, you know, flipped. So if I had had this again, I'd probably flip it around because all my inputs, all, all the inputs are over here and all the outputs are over here and it's flipped to where the, the way the board is. So lesson learned there. Next time, if, if there is a next time, I'll, uh, I'll do that better. We got the drivers here. Those are pretty typical. Contactor, that was a fun one to install. It's the first time using that. Um, you can see here, oh, there's the uh, the board from the actual Harbor Freight lathe. We reuse that, put that in here so we can control the, uh, the spindle. And then this guy, it's really dark in there. I didn't see how bad it is on the video, but this is the controller to help with the relays. These, these two guys down here. Relays that control the board over here that then go out to um, the lathe that spins the the spindle. One thing I had to go and hide in one of the covers for the lathe was the index board that really to, to catch the or to read the RPMs you can see there. That's one thing I need to fix in the settings. I got all installed, but I need to get Mach 3 uh, set up for that. That'll basically get closed up in that. Look at that, look how fancy that is. Ooh. So, and we got this. This is the front cover that used to have the, uh, the knobs and the switches and all the, everything for uh, controlling the motor. Now it's got this nice, you know, plate on top. Maybe I'll put something on top of it. Logo or something. So we'll get this buttoned up. Next steps for this guy is installing the ball screw. Uh, Got to figure out how I'm going to do that. Of course install the motors here. They'll probably come a little bit later. So basically installing the ball screw, 
and then installing limit switches wherever I can fit them or where it makes sense. I might create a fancy little, not really fancy, but some way to integrate the limit switches on here so you could slide it back and forth and tighten it down. That's still in the works, but, oh, <laughs> I forgot to show you guys. It actually, actually spins the motor. So if we go here, I got it set for 100, 2,500, not 2,500, uh, 1,250 RPMs. And there we go. This is probably the biggest thing that I was worried about trying to integrate all of these components using the board that was on here. It's now right there, but it all works. And I'm, I'm super stoked about it. So let me turn this off. So yeah, I'm gonna close this up, maybe finish up the wiring. Maybe I'll wait till later to do that. But I'm super stoked to now get to the mechanical side of this, get things bolted up and actually, you know, maybe machine something. So uh, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, hit the like button, or even find me on Instagram and you, if you wanna stay up to date to this project. I post more on there than on, on YouTube, just cause it's, it's easier. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.